Hey, well, what's going on, Ruben? I'm back at it again. I'm excited. The Snyder Cut, GLA. We finally get the actual movie we're supposed to see. We have a date, so I'm excited about that. The Last Dance is finally over. Seen all 10 episodes. We're gonna talk about it. Jordan versus LeBron. I'm tired of the comparisons. Let them just be great. School, school is finally over for now. One more semester to go. But before we talk about everything, Lorenzo, roll that intro. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know you usually don't see me so animated, but I am truly excited, man. The Snyder Cut. I'm excited it's finally getting a release. You know, I just felt like the original one that came out, they just try to copy, you know, what Marvel does just to satisfy the fans instead of just keeping it genuine and keeping them to themselves the way they were building with Man of Steel and BVS. Even though a lot of people didn't really like it, I was one of the few that absolutely loved it. The storytelling on it was amazing. The cinematography, I loved it. Yeah, they had their little backlashes here and there, but I just felt like they should not have just walked away from that just because of what fans think. No matter what, everybody's always gonna have their own opinion, you know? So the fact that we're getting this Snyder Cut the way it's supposed to be released from what I have read, before then, I can't truly wait, man. Warner Brothers is cashing out 20 to 30 mil to fund this project and continue it. So I'm excited, man. I'm a big fan of Snyder. I'm a big fan of Henry Cavill as Superman, Ben Affleck as Batman. You know, you already know what you know what Wonder Woman means to everybody. So even the people that don't like the DC movies love her. So I cannot wait to see this cut. I'm excited. I love these movies. It's crazy how they announced these two out of nowhere. Cause I was just watching GLA and BVS and I was just, you know, thinking to myself on how great that movie was, you know, to start everything off. And instead of just changing everything, just continuing with that path. So I'm I'm truly grateful and truly excited that the fans ordered it and now we're getting it, man. I can't wait to see the Snyder Cut, the way the movie is really supposed to be portrayed. The Last Dance, wow. The 10 episodes are finally over. It was great, man. I truly, truly enjoyed it. I felt 13 again, just watching nostalgia of MJ winning his sixth ring. At my birthday at that, he did that. So like, that's a moment that I can never, ever forget. So just to relive it and re-see it, it was absolutely amazing, absolutely brilliant. But I do have my criticisms towards it. You know, the documentary was great. Everything was great. It was produced amazing. But as a film major, I have to tell you guys that it really wasn't a documentary. It was mostly kind of like a memoir to his final season and the way he became great, you know? A documentary is supposed to have, um, you know, good things about it, bad things about it, different opinions. And this one didn't really have bad things about it as far as Michael Jordan goes. So he's getting a lot of criticism from past players talking about how, you know, he was a bad teammate. He took that off. Pippen, the way he was portrayed was really, really bad. I heard Stephen A say, even in, um, in an interview in his show, he was talking about how, you know, Pippen was portrayed really bad. And even Pippen himself, he came out and he said that he was portrayed really bad, which sucked, man, because Pippen was one of the all time greats. And, you know, I was too young to probably remember all that, the drama that was surrounding it. But it's true, man, without Pippen, Jordan wouldn't have won anything. You know, you always need your great other players. And the fact that he portrayed Pippen in a bad light, you know, really rubs me the wrong way, man. And like I was saying, the documentary isn't really a documentary. It was more of a memoir because you didn't, you didn't really have your bad takes, you know, given that Jordan basically produced this. Like, he saw everything before the final product was released. So it's basically him kissing his own ass. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of criticism because of that. But besides that, man, it was so good to see one of my greatest idols just relive him being great man and i'm truly i'm a jordan fan just like i'm truly i'm a lebron fan and all this lebron versus jordan it's just i'm just tired of it man it's a crazy debate let them just be great lebron is still playing he's an all-time great player top two obviously he's my favorite in my opinion player of all time they're both great players man i'm tired of the comparisons like i was saying i'm tired of this person is better than that person just enjoy greatness because they both truly are great 
as far as school goes, man, I'm finally done with the semester. I took my last final. It wasn't easy, man. Even, even photography, I just grew such a love for photography to the point where I'm actually thinking of getting my master's in photography and eventually teaching. You know, the professor I had this semester was really inspiring. He basically just let us be us. So that was cool. I truly enjoyed it. And that's the type of professor, that's the type of teacher that I wanna be, you know? I got really good at Photoshop. Because of my Photoshop class, I also give big kudos to my Photoshop professor. She was absolutely great. She told me a lot. As you can see, my work spoke for itself. I got great reviews on it. And um, just learning my field in general, I absolutely, absolutely am humbled and proud of my work, man. And for everybody that supported me, man, my best friend, Lori, of course, my wifey, you know, always being by my side, letting me do me, just working outside my field. And um, Jenna and Fran, man, my photography buddies, man, I will always, always, always love those girls, man. They have helped me a lot. Just you know, develop into the type of photographer and the type of person that I want to be. You know, you always got to have these young souls around you. You always got to have your family around you to support you because without them, you wouldn't be you. Nothing would be possible. And you wouldn't have that drive, you know, to just do you, to just be you. So I'm super proud of everybody. I'm super humble to have them in my life and just, just be a chill type of person, you know, as far as film goes. You already know, man, that's my that's my cup of tea. That's my specialty. My editing is out of this world. I worked on this film and I got great reviews. The acting was bad, you know, because I had to play my I had to play my main character and I don't consider myself an actor. So it was mediocre. The editing was obviously amazing. You guys can check it out on my YouTube channel. Besides just the acting, just dealing with everything last minute because of COVID. I, I'm super proud of the project, man. And I just can't wait for all this to be over so I can really get back into filming with great actors, with good people, and just motivated people, man. There's my update in general, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions, guys, just let me know, man. I'm right here. I'm like a book. I know so much. I've learned so much. One more semester to go. I can't wait to graduate and um, just get into that next step of my life, man. So super excited about that, guys. So um, until next time, guys, I love you. Take care. Keep watching my content. I'll be here and I'll continue to do some more roles, man. So without further ado, guys, deuces.